Good day from the 65th Annual Cannes Film Festival. I'm Ian Roberts, and I'm presenting to you a program created by Paramax and Mund West, a program entitled Con Echo 2012, in partnership with Screen International. In our program, we have a unique opportunity to take a look into the world of film finance. Through a series of interviews and roundtables, we gain valuable insight from the leaders of the film finance industry and how they are bridging the gap between unique storytelling and the financial resources to make them become a big screen cinematic experience. In this edition of our Con Echo series, we have the opportunity to sit down with Martin Cuff, executive director of the AFCI and his colleagues across the globe in understanding the role of international, national, and regional film commissions. Let's hear what they had to say. My name is Martin Cuff, and I am the executive director of an association called the Association of Film Commissioners International. And collectively, we make up uh, government agencies predominantly who drive economic development from the film industry. The nature of film commissions and, and uh, film agencies that promote uh, the development of economies through film are all very different and we're going to go through the team and discuss exactly how their film commissions are structured and the, the major roles that they play within their own communities. What's the approach been with Film France? Um, how are you structured? What, what, are, what are we trying to work at? Well, Film France is an association, it's an agency basically financed by the French government through the National Centre for Cinema uh, with the job which consists in promoting France as a location for shoots or post-production, animation, visual effects, anything that will create employment and economy in France through the film industry. So our job pretty much is, is economic development. And, and, and an agency funded through, d directly through the national government? Yes, directly through a subsidy from the French government. You might know in France uh, that there, there is a very strong film policy that has been existing for more than 60 years, uh, after the Second World War actually was created. And there are taxes on the industry, taxes on theatres, on video, on TV channels, and all these taxes, so it's not, it's not taxpayers' money actually, it's the industry's money that goes to the National Centre for Cinema and which is then given away through a whole range of different subsidies to film production, film distribution, exhibition, co-production with Europe, so on and so forth, and to associations like mine, which job is interesting for the, the global uh, community. What's happening in the Middle East is indicative of the, of the, the real globalization of the film industry, and in, in its true sense, in that it's not just, we're not just talking about Hollywood product saturating markets, internationally. We're talking about the way that the film business is changing to reflect new realities. I, I, I loved the fact that it was Fren a French film filmed in Los Angeles that won the Oscar this year. I mean, the French have always been very good at managing their sort of cultural position in the world. Has there been anything that's changed that's brought about this, re you know, the massive successes you've had recently? Well, um First of all, last year it was a British film who won the Academy Award, a King's Speech. So it's two years in a row now, European film wins the Academy Award. Um, well, I think the film policy in France always has been based on a cultural concept. Of course, the economy comes with it because film is expensive, TV is expensive, so there is a lot of employment, a lot of spending. But the intent, the goal is a cultural policy which aims at having the largest diversity of films, of directors, of writers, of actors, not only from France, because actually the French system is open. We have about 50 co-production treaties with other countries, which allows films from all over, 60 films every year, which are foreign films, but they qualify to the French system as official co-productions. So the intent is really to be really diverse, not only because we think, first of all, that the cultural diversity is the best way of having exchanges with other countries, and having a peaceful relationship, of course, but also because we strongly believe that the, more, the biggest number of films we produce with a more diverse range of artists is a way to have a healthy industry. You know, everybody would like to produce 10 successful films and no failures, but nobody ever found the rule. This is why you yep. need to produce many films coming from many different places to have a healthy industry. As a combination of how you monetize culture and how you create opportunity for for real people i mean that can is fantastic but it's the film industry is about real people and real jobs 
Um, and I think that that's what, so thank you for continuing to do what you do and, and help make the economies work in your various places of origin. Thank you for watching our Con Echo 2012 series.